Hey, Steve Hansen here with the Janitorial Store uh, and uh, My House Cleaning Biz. Um, you know, we often get uh, people that come onto our chat, uh, our chat feature on our websites, and uh, they'll ask, uh, you know, what's the going rate for services in a particular area? And, or they'll say, you know, where can I find a list of uh, cleaning companies that tells me how much they're charging? Well, unfortunately, there's no such thing. Um, you know, uh, it'd be nice if there was, but there isn't. So the, the thing that you have to do is you have to do a little research. And, you know, that's really the, the main issue is that most cleaning business owners, uh, or cleaning companies, don't take the time to do the research on their competitors, you know, to do a, a competitive analysis. Um, you know, it's, it's really interesting that um, how can you go out and compete against people or companies when you have no idea what the market will bear or what your competitors are charging. And it doesn't matter what service it is. Uh, sure, maybe it could be just general cleaning of, of, a, of a facility. Uh, it could be carpet cleaning, it could be hard floor care, window washing, power washing. Uh, you know, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you need to take the time to, to do some competitive uh, research uh, to know where people are, what they're charging, and maybe where you might uh, be set on your price point. So, you know, the first thing you probably want to do is uh, create a list of the people that you consider your competition or your competitors. Uh, do that for your entire area. So if you end up with 5, 10, 20, uh, 20 names on the list, great. Um, now go ahead and uh, start doing some research. So go to their website, see what kind of information they offer there. You know, are they are they you know saying how much they're charging for any services? Chances are most likely not. Um, so then maybe you might want to um, uh, see if they got any marketing materials that uh, might give you a clue as to what they might be charging. Uh, again, chances are probably not. They want you to contact them. Um, either through filling out a form on their website and or calling them. So uh, that's, the, that's the whole idea. Uh, so what's going to happen is that you're probably going to have to make some phone calls. And you, you're probably going to call these companies and, and uh, just ask them some questions to try to uncover how much they're charging you know, for a service. Now, uh, a common answer, what you're going to get is that, well, we can't quote over the phone, you know, we need to come do a walkthrough. Uh, you know, or we need to we need to see the the job that that you want done in order to price it correctly, and that's fair because you know that's exactly what I would say. But you know the the thing is is that uh, you need to be a little uh, you need to be clever. You know, think outside the box now. Uh, you know, there's many ways that you can have somebody come and do a walkthrough of a facility or give you a price on carpet carpet cleaning or window washing, whatever it may be. Just think outside the box, be creative. Uh, you know, there's many times that we've just used uh, current clients that we've had to, to and had them uh, ask somebody to give a proposal on cleaning. So, uh, you know, that works, out, uh, that works out very well. The key there is that uh, make sure you have a strong relationship with that client. And, uh, you know, we do. Uh, that's, we're, we're, we're really strong on that. Uh, it's very, very important that you have a very solid relationship with your with your customers and your clients. Um, you know, you take care of business, you do what you promise them, and, and you do more than what you promise them. And uh, you'll never have an issue with them going out to, to get uh, bids or proposals uh, for service. Uh, in fact, you know, I had so many uh, clients that would were happy to go and ask for a proposal for my competitor so I could find out what the market share was. You know, so it's a great strategy. Um, and, uh, you know, I never, I never worried about uh, my competitors coming in and uh, taking our accounts away because of the strong relationship I had with my clients. But anyway, that's a strategy you can use. Uh, you know, and if you don't, uh, you can always ask, uh, you know, find somebody that has a commercial space uh, or if you're checking out house cleaning, you know, have somebody come to your home and give you a price on that. Um, you know, so there's a number of different ways of doing it. But uh, you have to do the research um, and, uh, you know, think outside the box and, uh, you know, get the numbers that you need. Uh, but, you know, you can do it. It's just a matter of taking the steps and doing it. 
uh, and then you're going to be able to find out, you know, what the market is, what your competitors are charging for various uh, uh, various services. And then if you got four or five of them listed, you know, on your competitor uh, comparison uh, sheet, uh, which we uh, which we have uh, in the jan uh, on the janitorial store in my house cleaning biz in our download library. So you know, uh, if you don't have one, go there and get it and, and start doing a, a, a price comparison, you know, for for your uh, competitors. But uh, from there, what you do is that you could uh, run your numbers there, and you can actually get an, a an average. So let's say if I had three uh, three competitors that I got pricing on, well now I can just take that, you know, add them up, and then divide it by three. That gives me my average price. So now I know, okay, well this is the average price that in my market that that my competitors are charging. So where am I now? Am I am I situated? Am I low? Am I high? Um, you know, or am I somewhere in between? Somewhere in the middle? Um, you know, so uh, then you just need to decide on where you want to be positioned at. Uh, don't make the mistake like so many and sell on price, uh, because again, I'll say it for the thousands, you know, millionth time, that uh, if you sell on price, you compete on price. So just stay out of that arena. Uh, it's the quickest way to zero for everybody. But anyway, uh, just don't make that mistake. Uh, always make sure that you're making a profit on on any service that you provide. And again, you know, the, the best way to know that is to use our calculators on the janitorial store or my house cleaning biz because you, you enter in your price points and, uh, you know, the information and, uh, um, and your expenses and things like that there. And it helps you calculate what your actual profit is on the job. And, you know, the beauty about that is that it, it, it's your numbers. Uh, you know, you're not having a, 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 false, a, pro, a false profit number. So... You know, that's very, very important. You, we we got to know that. But uh, so once you know all that, that, that's great because now you know where you're positioned in the market. So when you're going out and you're selling your services and you're, you're uh, building up leads and you're uh, setting appointments and, uh, and going on these appointments and uh, you're uh, writing up uh, some very good proposals, which again, you know, in the janitorial store, we've we've got a, a number of uh, proposal templates specifically for certain types of locations. So you can go in there and you can select whatever type of, uh, of account it is and uh, download that uh, download that template and uh, be able to create a, a winning proposal uh, off of that. Uh, then once you do that, you've got yourself a template for that type of facility. You know, if it's a gymnasium or, or, or some type of gym or health fitness uh, center or something like that. Or if it's, uh, you know, if it's a hospital, a clinic, whatever it is. We have a number of different uh, proposals there. Uh, then the nice thing is that once you create that proposal, you, you present the proposal. And now it's all up to you about your selling skills. You know, once you've got your, your price uh, point dialed in, now it's all about your sales skills. So... Uh, you know, you need to be able to identify objections and, and things like that. You have to you have to really address their pain points uh, that the person's uh, going through uh, currently with a, with their current service, or if they don't have a service, you know how it benefits them to to go uh, outside and have a contractor come in and provide cleaning service with them. But very important. So you know, just take the time, uh, do your research. It's not that difficult. It takes time, but it's not that hard. And be creative. You know, there's, like I say, there's a number of different ways that you can get people to come over and visit a location and uh, give you some pricing, give you a proposal, you know. Um, done it many times, not a big deal. But uh, the thing is that you have to take these steps in order, you know, in order for you to know where you're positioned in your market. So hopefully you found this helpful. And um, uh, make sure you click on the, the, the like and uh, share the video. And uh, we'll see you next time.